1019, Big 550, KTRS. Our next guest is a New York Times bestselling author. He's also a uh, in the Hall of Fame of international speakers. 20 years of speaking uh, to Fortune 500 companies. He is, uh, you might have seen him on the A&E reality series Big Spender. He's been on MSNBC, Fox, CNBC. He's the pit bull of personal development, Larry Winget has a brand new book out called Grow a Pair, How to Stop Being a Victim and Take Back Your Life, Your Business, and Your Sanity. Larry joins us via Skype on the Big 550 KTRS. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You got it. What's the point of the book? Give us, give us the primer. Well, Grow a Pair, it's not about what's going on between your legs. It's about what's going on between your ears. It's developing the right attitude so you'll stop being a victim in your life, stop this entitlement stuff, and stop the wussification of America. <laughs> well, what do you really think? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I kind of buffered it there. <laughs> okay, good, because we are on uh, on the radio. Is it it's it's your it's not anybody's fault but your own? Is that your your philosophy? You know, you can sum up everything I believe and have been talking about for over 20 years and in my last six books with one line. Life's your own damn fault. Your thoughts, your words, your actions created the life you're living. If you don't like your life, change it. 90% of people's problems are of their own making. Would you agree You're with that? You're 100% right. Yeah. At least 90%. In fact, I think everything that's going on in your life, you in some way caused. I really do. And if something bad happens to you, how you react to it is still your responsibility. We haven't taught people these days to take responsibility. We allow them to play the victim and blame someone else. Because we've taught them that someone else is always going to come to the rescue. That needs to stop. Uh, it, well, so why is the country so angry with everybody else? <laughs> you know, I think we need more people to get angry. We've just developed this go-along to get-along society where we take it. I think we need to stop taking it. Listen, I have a quick test to see if you have a pair or not. Do your little kids talk back to you? You don't have a pair. Do you go in a restaurant and eat cold food? You don't have a pair. Do you have lazy coworkers? Now, you're sitting right there. Look all around your studio there. Do you have lazy coworkers you have to pick up the slack for? Then you don't have a pair. It, it, we have to get to the place in society where we know what we believe and speak up for ourselves and stand up to others. But if you go into the corner office and you say, you know what, Susie down the hall is not doing her work and I'm doing it for her, that's going to cause a whole set of other problems. That's because you're a tattletale. You went to the corner office to complain about Susie when you should have had enough of a pair to walk right up to Susie and say, Susie, I have a problem. I'm picking up the slack because you're not doing your job, and I'm not willing to do that anymore. Now, you're either going to fix it, or then we will go to the corner office. Is that fair, Susie? Yeah, but then Susie then turns on you, and it's caused all sorts of problems, and now, we, now you've caused a big fight. Yeah, well, we need more big fights going on because we have lousy employees who aren't doing their jobs running most companies right now. If you don't believe that, go to the mall, walk in a restaurant. We have bad employees who are the face of the company, and that's got to be fixed. We've been for way too many years just saying, it's okay, we won't say anything because it'll cause problems. But Larry uh, Wingett is our guest. His book is called Grow a Pair, How to Stop Being a Victim and Take Back Your Life, Your Business, and Your Sanity. Um, there's a little... Uh, my point is this, is that people blame everybody else, as you mentioned, but they're angry. But they're, they're angry because President Obama is, um, uh, is implementing the Affordable Care Act, so they, they can't go and get another job because uh, Congress is doing X, Y, and Z. It seems like no matter what happens, they're, they're angry because somebody else is, is doing something to them. Is that, is that a valid criticism or a valid point? I think that's a valid point. I'm not sure about the anger part. I do believe that we live in a society where people are not willing to take responsibility and we're looking for anybody else to blame. We blame the economy for the fact that our business is not good when the reality is we don't have a good product and don't provide good service. We blame Obama. Uh, for the fact that we don't have any money or Congress for this. We'll, people will get down to the point they'll blame the fact that they're a middle child. They'll blame anybody but themselves. The first thing people ought to do is go to the mirror, look themselves in the eye and say, listen, I did this, and then have a Jimmy Swagger moment, look to the skies and cry a little bit and said, I've been an idiot and i got to fix it. 
uh, how how have you uh, how is this received when you talk to your Fortune 500 companies? They like it. I'm sort of the guy that they bring in when uh, who says what the CEO would love to say, but the HR department won't let them say. <laughs> Tell me about this show on uh, on uh, on A and E called Big Spender. It was a show. It's on right now on Biography Channel. It was shot a few years ago. Biography Channel's just brought it back. It's a show about people who wreck their lives financially, and I would go in and, in my warm, sweet, loving way, uh, uh, bring about a little bit of a reality check. Really, it's about an angry, bald man yelling at stupid people until they cried like babies. So you you had you you enjoyed telling people that they shouldn't spend three hundred dollars on a pair of shoes when they when they have ten thousand dollars worth of credit card debt. You know, I had one woman on the show with 57 credit cards, $600,000 in credit card debt. And when I made her cut up all her cards, I said, you can keep one for an emergency. And she kept her Neiman Marcus card. <laughs> and you wonder. As a result of that, I went away and wrote a bestseller called People Are Idiots and I Can Prove It. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Wingett, how do you get people? Okay, we've identified the problem. How do you get people from where they are now to where they should be? Just a couple of steps. There's a lot of stuff in the book that people can read because I talk about growing a pair with your business, with your family, with your money. But there's some things anyone can do. The first thing I want people to do, stop whining, stop complaining. If you're not willing to fix your problem, at least shut up about it. We all have our own stuff we're dealing with. I don't want to hear your stuff. You don't want to hear my stuff. So either go to work and fix it or shut up. But whining makes you a victim and it perpetuates that whole victim thing. So start there. Next would be get a plan. Victims just let their life happen to them. People who are in control of their lives and who have a pair, they actually have a plan for the way they'd like their life to be. And the last is at least figure out what you believe in and don't compromise. Don't make any excuses. Don't compromise. When it gets tough, you still believe in it. When I ask people, what do you believe in that you will never compromise? They look at me like a dog looking at a ceiling fan. They never even thought about that. Larry, it's so true. I have friends who we say that they'll never change because they live their night life through inertia. They're already going in one direction, and they can't stop and go in a different direction, even though the direction they're going in is wrong for everybody, and everybody knows it. They're not going to stop because that's the train they're on. Yep, you're exactly right about that. That's why I tell people, get off that train, take accountability for where you are. Your life's your own fault. Really, that's where we go back to every single time. Real quick, three sheets of paper is all anybody needs. Figure out where you are on one sheet of paper in every area of your life, your money, your finances, your relationships, your business. On the second sheet of paper, figure out where you want to be so it corresponds to where you are. And then on the third sheet of paper, write up what you're going to give up to get from where you are to where you want to be. When I say give up, that means sacrifice. People don't want to give up because all those motivational bozos out there have said you can have it all. Well, you can't have it all. You're going to have to choose. Start choosing a different life. What happens when you talk to one of these Fortune 500 companies and you give this message and somebody comes up to you at halftime and says, no, but, but you don't understand. My husband left me. No, wait, you don't understand. I lost my job. No, Larry, you don't understand. What, what do you tell them? You know, it's real simple. When somebody and you have friends that do you the very same way, it works every single time. Say, boy, that really is a problem. I'm sorry about that. Now, what are you doing about it? And the minute you say, what are you doing about it? They go, ooh, it's back on me again. And they don't know how to handle that. Always put it back on them. What are you doing about it? Because if you're not doing anything about it, then you must like it. That, I wrote a book called You're Broke Because You Want to Be. People said, no, I'm not broke because I want to be. I don't want to be broke. Sure you do. If you didn't want to be broke, you wouldn't be broke anymore. Your life's exactly how you want it to be. So turn it around. Uh, Larry Wingett is our guest, the pit bull of personal development, and you see why he got the nickname. The book is called Grow a Pair, How to Stop Being a Victim and Take Back Your Life, Your Business, and Your Sanity. Larry, best of luck with the book. Next time you're in St. Louis, stop by. Say hi. Hey, I'll do it. I appreciate you having me on. You got it. Larry Wingett, uh, the book is called Grow a Pair via Skype here on the Big 550 KTRS. Back.